Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another review of Boku no Hero Academia, aka Boku no Greatness, aka Boku no Goat, aka My Hero Academia. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So, this is the finale of the My Hero Academia season two. Uh, we gotta wait probably another year for season three, and I'm really excited for season three to come. But let's get right into the review. The first point I want to talk about is the highlight of this episode, which was basically Shigaraki's growth as a character. Because from season one to season two, Shigaraki has definitely grown, and Shigaraki is actually my second favorite character in My Hero Academia. So, basically, in the beginning, Shigaraki was, he just did things without thinking. He did things because he felt like it. And he even mentioned that um, in this episode. He did things because he felt like it without really any conviction. So the things he did didn't really matter because that's like saying, oh, I feel like eating ice cream today. And I just eat ice cream just because of that. Like it has no purpose behind it. It has no backing behind it. And I really like this episode because it focused heavily on that. And Shigaraki even asked me to read like what's the difference between me and the hero killer and the word right there was conviction and I really like when Shigaraki was like all my has to do with this my conviction is to have a world without all my basically to kill all my and I was just like all oh, damn did and, he, and Shigaraki said that is my conviction so now Shigaraki has something behind his motives so all of his plans that he will probably create in the future that all for one will help him create in the future it all revolves around destroying all might destroying the symbol of peace and this is a very strong conviction because you got to realize in this episode when all might was talking about oh he can't save everybody and stuff but he still um, sparks a lit and with a symbol of peace status symbol of justice status if All Might dies and that spark is just turns to darkness, that will make villains everywhere celebrate. That will make people that wanted to become villains come out of the shadows, become villains with their quirks and stuff. And that will make heroes take um, a deep plunge a, because if their symbol of justice goes down, that's like a big pillar in the hero, hero society of My Hero Academia. And that being Shigaraki's conviction to destroy that pillar, that symbol of justice, will definitely um, create shockwaves around the whole My Hero Academia world and will definitely impact the story. Now, I do not think All Might is going to die anytime soon. Um, that's probably going to be towards the end of the series, but still, um, it, it will probably happen at this point. Now... The second point I want to talk about is the Ochako stuff, uh, which she was blushing when talking to me the reading stuff, which I thought that was kind of cute and stuff. I was like, okay, okay. Um, l l not fan service, but you know, um, you can see right there the one of the ships that's coming in the future, probably towards the end of the series, because you got to realize that ships in My Hero Academia don't really matter at this point, because the series is not about romance or anything like that. The series is built around... Um, action fighting and the storyline so but you could you could put ships in the storyline so yeah that was what the episode was based on and the next one i want to talk about is all for one all for one made something interesting he, he made an interesting statement is what i'm trying to say and he said that shigaraki will become the next him like that's what he's planning and all for one uh all my didn't take him down. He, all Might thought he took him down indefinitely, but All For One is still alive with things hooked up to his body, um, severe burns and stuff. So All Might almost killed this man, and but he's still alive. He's still creating normals because we saw the normals and stuff. So um, if All For One, I mean, if All Might is a symbol of peace, then you could say All For One would be the symbol of darkness or a symbol of chaos because he's the one that's really pulling the strings through the shadows and his successor is Shigaraki and all my successor is Midoriya and that's why I always say alongside with a lot of other people that say this as well Shigaraki and Midoriya are two sides of the same coin they got two senseis that are very powerful 
Um, because you got to presume they're very powerful because all for one fought all might and he, this dude's still alive but with severe injuries and they got their own convictions one wants to become the number one hero once and the other wants to um destroy uh, all might which will if he does accomplish this conviction he will become basically the symbol of all villains basically so yeah um that's all i have for this review i really hope you enjoyed the review i'm gonna give this episode and uh, let's say eight no I'm going to give this episode, yeah, an 8 out of 10 for the finale. I'm really excited. Season 3 is confirmed. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the um, short review. And if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.